Hello, in this video I'm talking through our Twitter pet game Twat, which I'm pleased to say was MC Sachi's Game 5 hack overall winner. We start off with a very simple user face, all that's required is your Twitter name and your Twat's name. Then you're given this intermediate page where you're given some sample actions you can give to your Twat. And up pops the Twat with its name, how long it's existed for, and its stats. If we shimmy over to Twitter, I can send this Twat a uh, Twitter action. Each action has to be preceded by a asterisk, so in this example I will be cleaning the newly created FooTwit. The tweet is sent, and now we can flip back and see how it affects our guy. Though it's not exactly instantaneous, it only takes a short amount of time before our wash animation, here we go, um, kicks in. So that wasn't a very good example to start off with, because washing it actually improves the twit stats. In this example, I'll be doing something a little more nasty to it, giving it a good old-fashioned backhand. So I'm typing asterisk slap. So when the tweet is recognized, you can see its happiness and health stats go down. Went ahead and tweeted the action asterisk pet, so its happiness increases slightly. The fun fact it kicks into gear when I can tweet other people's twets, or other people can tweet my twet. Dan, a fellow member of 1 to the 5, has conveniently hashtagged this little guy here, Mox Twet. Unfortunately, we don't have an animation for Asterix Fist. We do, however, keep a backlog of all our actions, so if you feel like slapping the pet with no consequence, and it's happened before, you can go ahead and do that. Though Goldsmith has taught me some pretty jazzy programming skills, I actually used none of that as I was used for character design and all the animations. So I started by visiting a weird Japanese doll shop and drawing up some of the characters. Then I went ahead and started animating the chosen twat. Uh, this is a stationary animation. Uh, none of this actually made it into the game. The idea was as if you left him alone, he would just get bored and do stupid things. This here is the death animation, so if you neglect him or your friends pick on him too much, he dies, and you can quite literally never use that twat name ever again. This is the animation for tweeting asterisk feed. Punch is my favorite because he sheds a little mono here. This is the weirdest, most adjustive tick collection ever. And you can of course feed your twet uranium with Asterix Nuke. I also created some assets for presenting in front of the judges. Here's a twet reading The Great Gatsby. These images are for Bruce, one to the five's lucrative marketer who wants to make money from users purchasing and spoiling their twets with in-game objects. I also mocked up some more twets for the twep of us. This here being Cat Squid. This is Dan's twep and he also created a really nice poster for a presentation as well. And finally this is the twep shop boys. Um, background music that's been accompanying this video. A special thanks to Team 1 to the 5, that's Vlad, Simon, Bruce and Dan. I had so much fun making twerps with you. And uh, thanks to you, the video viewee. I hope you've enjoyed your quick tour through twerps. Okay, bye.